Hey guys, um, it's, it's me. I'm back and, uh, we're gonna go into World 5 this time. Last time was World 1. That was so silly. And, um, ignore any oh, wow. noises you hear in the background. They're just my brother and, yeah. So, um, this is my other castle. This is the very, very tall one. You know, I've added some stuff like pumpkins were here, but this red wool right here and here and this little trench area. And you might notice this. This was where I actually walked out of my other other video, and I looked up at the castle like this. Uh, I blew that to smithereens. Um, and this is how. So uh, today I'm gonna be telling you uh, how to make a cannon in Minecraft. And it's not that hard. It's fairly easy, and you don't need much at all. So. Here, I'm just going to show you that it actually works, so I'm going to go get some TNT, and, uh, this is, uh, before I get to TNT, I'm just going to describe how this works. You put a bucket of water, or you make a, or a five by two little box, leaving this out, and then, here, wait, I'll just make, a, I'll make another one for you guys, just because you guys are so special. So, we're going to go down here. I also added this small little passageway to my secret little hideout over here. And so, boom, secret hideout. And this is all TNT. Um, I did, I kind of glitched for it. I used a duplica duplication glitch to get some TNT. But all this stuff is real. I found it in the cave system I was down before. So, uh, today... What you're going to need is a, a bucket, uh, oh. some wow, torches, uh, a building material. I'm using sandstone in this case, but you don't need it. You do not need sandstone. You can use any material. And then you're going to need some redstone. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to need a lever or a button, something to give the redstone power. So that would be like a pressured plate or... um. A button, but in this case, I'm using a lever because it only takes a cobblestone and a stick. And if you don't know how to make a lever, it's simple. Put one down there, cobblestone down there, and a stick on top, and boom, you get a lever. So, um, there are many different kinds of little cannons. Like, uh, I have two that are just complete flip ones, so I want to put my cannon right here. So, you're going to want to make here, we'll get, we'll knock out these torches, right? Like, alright, so you start off by making kind of like a, a V. Oops, didn't mean to put that there, so we'll just destroy this real quick. Alright. Alright, so now we have, um, I hit the cross while, like, six uh, times was it? we're going to need to back this up a bit. So we're actually going to destroy another I one, think, and then take these torches off, so. Then, now, after we finish this outline right here, so one, two, three, four, five, and the then a little point, point on the end. Out? One, two, three, four, five, you're and a point, um, um I mean, no, no point on this end, end but like we're going to close it off like right here, on. so. Now we have one, two, three, four blocks in the center. So then, you're going to want to um, put a block on top of that, and then also another block to cover up this area right here. So like that. And then you're just going to continue down the side row right here, and make this too high. Ignore this block, that's not how you make it. You just got to destroy this block right here. Alright, then... You need to put toward um you need to put redstone exactly where I put it. Otherwise this will not work. So right, right here, you do not want to put one right here. No no no. Put one right there, one right there, one right there, one right here, one right there, one right there, and one three right there. Notice how these line up. And um keep these ends off limits from redstone. And um next you wanna put your lever, anywhere you want, you can put it right here, you can put it right here, and it'll, anything, any place that will turn on this redstone. <clears throat> so you want to put it there, and you want to have it close to this can, to the cannon as possible, but you don't want it like right here, that, that's just silly. And so, um, 
I'm going to place mine where I placed all mine to the left right here. So now you can see that it's connected and it will turn on the redstone. So you flick the switch and the redstone goes all red and uh, lighty stuff. So we're going to put some torches around here so at night mobs don't spawn on my castle. So there you have it. Um, next, using your bucket, you will need to get a water, uh, just a water, a bucket full of water. So I'm going to come down here to my little well. And uh, it is an infinite spring. If you don't know how to do that, leave a comment and I'll do a tutorial for you guys. Next, you know how we made that overlapping? Well, you're going to put the water in between that rock and that rock. So it'll look like this. And that is because you're about to do what I'm about to show you right now. And I'm going to go get some TNT and I'm going to light this cannon off. As you can see, it's not really that hard to make. It, you just need the right materials. So we're going to get... It takes seven... Seven TNTs... Seven TNTs to fire one cannon. So we're going to light this baby off. And we're going to see what damage we do to the tree next door. And you can fire it as many times as you want. No, um... No little, uh... Glitches or anything. Oh, wait, wrong one. There, here's the one we just made. No little rehabbing to do this or anything. No TNT will blow up un unless you do this wrong. If it blows up in front of your face, you did it wrong. I'm saying that now. So we're going to turn some fog on because it's getting a little bit frame rate issues. So you do not want to put one in there. It will blow your little structure up that you're putting it on. So you put one there. Notice how the water flow stops. That, it, that means it work, it's working. So we're going to put one there. Uh, like fill up that hole and you're gonna put one right there and you're gonna fill up this so one whoa lag like that all right so next what you're gonna do you're ready to fire the cannon you flick this and you're gonna have three seconds to hit that and then it'll you don't wanna this is the reason why you didn't want to put this out Absolutely. so you flick this and all everything's gonna get lit up every single TNT I put in there and then that one isn't gonna get lit up so that's when the one you have to manually use unless you do the model I'm about to show you next after this. So here we go, we're going to light this off and 3, 2, 1, boom. So click it and you'll see it fly. It went flying and um, who knows where it landed. So then you can simply just take off your little switch thing and as you can see, nothing happen to the structure around it which is the really the most important part about this cannon so the next cannon I'm going to show you is the design the next two cannons I'm about to show you are the de are designs I made myself and this is a longer cannon and it shoots like a long way I, I couldn't even find the hole it made but it's also a double um, like a man like all switch cannon so you can just flick this switch, and then wait a second and flick this switch, and then it'll go off on its own. You don't have to go click the TNT over here. And then the next one is at the very top of my castle. I just put this in right before I made this video, and it's 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 pretty. It's, this is my um my favorite one because it's at the very tallest point and it goes the furthest. So you click that one again, and then that one, and it goes flying. And um. I'm going to end the video right here, guys. Uh, post comments. Uh, if you like my videos, uh, leave a suggestion and subscribe, guys. I need it. I need it. So, peace out, guys. See you next video.